Hey there, welcome back to Medinas. Today we are delving deep into a topic that affects almost everyone in the world but often remains in the shadows, piles or as they are medically known, hemorrhoids. So first things first, what exactly are hemorrhoids? Well, they are swollen and inflamed blood vessels in the rectum and anus. They can be internal or external and here's the difference. Internal hemorrhoids are the ones located inside the rectum, so you can't see or feel them. However, they can cause bleeding during bowel movements. External hemorrhoids form under the skin around the anus. They can be itchy, painful and may bleed especially during bowel movements. Now let's talk about the causes of hemorrhoids. Understanding these factors can help you prevent them. First is straining during bowel movements. One common cause is straining during bowel movements, often due to constipation or diarrhea. Second is pregnancy. Pregnant individuals are more prone to hemorrhoids due to increased pressure on pelvic blood vessels. Third is obesity. Being overweight can put extra pressure on the rectal and anal area, increasing the risk of hemorrhoids. Fourth is sedentary lifestyle. A lack of physical activity can also contribute to hemorrhoid development. And fifth one is aging. The risk of hemorrhoids tends to increase with age. So how do you know if you have hemorrhoids? Look for the following signs and symptoms. First is bleeding during bowel movements. Bleeding is common, usually painless for internal hemorrhoids, but it can be painful for external ones. Second is itching and irritation. Itching or irritation around the anal area, especially with external hemorrhoids. Third is pain and discomfort. Pain or discomfort, particularly when sitting or during bowel movements. Fourth is swelling. So swelling around the anus is often seen in external hemorrhoids. Now let's go to the good stuff. That is the home remedies to find relief from hemorrhoids. Remember, if your symptoms are severe or persistent, consult a healthcare professional. So now here are some effective home remedies. First is tea tree oil. Tea tree oil has antiseptic properties that can help cleanse germs and bacteria from your anal area. It also has an anti-inflammatory property that can reduce inflammation, swelling and itching that is caused by hemorrhoids. So let's see what all you will need. First is 2-3 to three drops of tea tree oil, a teaspoon of olive oil and cotton balls. Once you have all this required stuff, combine the tea tree oil with the olive oil to make a natural blend. Soak cotton balls into this and apply it on the affected area. Wipe and repeat this up to 3 times a day. Let's now go to the second remedy, which is fiber-rich diet. A fiber-rich diet is a crucial component of managing and preventing hemorrhoids, that is piles. A high-fiber diet can help promote regular and softer bowel movements, reducing the risk of hemorrhoids and providing relief if you already have them. So how do the fibers help? First, they soften the stools. By absorbing water in the digestive tract, the dietary fibers make stools softer and easier to pass. This reduces the need to strain during bowel movements. Secondly, the fibers promote regularity. So fibers help regulate bowel movement by adding bulk to the stool. It can prevent both constipation and diarrhea, maintaining a healthy balance. Third, fibers help reduce pressure. Since it makes stools softer, they put less pressure on the blood vessels in the rectum and anus, reducing the risk of hemorrhoid formation and irritation. So here are some tips for a fiber-rich diet. First is eat whole grains. Choose whole grains over refined grains. Look for products labeled whole grain or whole wheat. Second, load up on your fruits and vegetables. Aim to fill half your plate with fruits and vegetables at each meal. These foods are rich in fibers. Third, include legumes. Beans, lentils, peas are excellent source of fibers and can be added to soups, salads and various dishes. Fourth, stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of water is essential when increasing your fiber intake because fiber absorbs water and adequate hydration helps prevent constipation. Fifth is gradual changes. Now, if you are not used to fiber-rich diet, introduce fiber-rich foods gradually to allow your digestive system to adjust. Sixth is limit processed foods. Processed foods are often low in fiber and they are high in refined sugars and fats. So reduce your intake of these items. Seventh, consider supplements. 
Now, if it's challenging to meet your fiber needs through food alone, you can consider fiber supplements. But first consult your healthcare provider before using them. So remember that while a high fiber diet can help prevent and alleviate hemorrhoids, it is essential to maintain a balanced diet and a healthy lifestyle overall. Next is SIDS bath. It is a therapeutic bath in which only the hips and buttocks are immersed in warm water. It is a common home remedy for various conditions including hemorrhoids, anal fissures and postpartum discomfort. A SIDS bath can help alleviate pain, itching and discomfort in the anal and genital areas. And here's how to do a SIDS bath. So the materials that you will need are First, a clean, shallow basin or plastic SIDS bath that fits over the toilet bowl. Second, you need warm water, not hot, just warm water, which should be enough to fill the basin. And third, Epsom salts or other soothing ingredients. So here's the procedure. Fill a basin with warm water, ensuring that it covers your hips and buttocks comfortably. The water should be comfortably warm, but not hot, as hot water can worsen the condition. It can worsen your irritation. So if your healthcare provider recommends it or if you find it soothing, you can add some Epsom salts or other recommended ingredients to the water. These additives can help reduce inflammation and discomfort. Now carefully sit in the warm water in the basin, making sure your hips and buttocks are submerged. You can sit in it for 10 to 20 minutes. After your sits bath, gently pat the anal and genital areas dry and clean with a soft towel. Avoid rubbing as this can cause further irritation. Now you can perform a sits bath 3 to 4 times a day, especially after bowel movements or as recommended by your healthcare provider. Make sure to keep the basin clean and sanitized between uses to prevent infection. Next is Witch Hazel. Witch Hazel is a natural astringent which is derived from the leaves and barks of the Witch Hazel plant. It has the ability to reduce inflammation and soothe various skin conditions. It can help alleviate discomfort and irritation, making it a popular choice for treating conditions like hemorrhoids. And here's how you are going to use them. So the materials that you'll need include witch hazel solution, which is available at most drug stores. And second is cotton balls or soft lint-free cloth. So here's the procedure. Choose a witch hazel solution that is pure, that is without added alcohol or fragrances, as they can be irritating to the skin. Before applying witch hazel, clean the affected anal area gently. You can use mild unscented soap and water or you can opt for moistened wipes, especially designed for sensitive skin. So here are a few ways to apply witch hazel. You can soak a cotton ball in the witch hazel solution and gently pat or dab the saturated cotton ball onto the affected area. Do avoid rubbing as this can worsen the irritation. And second method. If you have external hemorrhoids, you can soak a clean, lint-free cloth in witch hazel and apply it as a compress to the affected area and leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes. After applying witch hazel, allow it to air dry on your skin. Avoid wiping it off immediately. You can apply witch hazel several times a day, especially after bowel movements and before bedtime or as directed by your healthcare provider. Next is aloe vera gel. It is a natural remedy that is often used to soothe the discomfort and irritation associated with hemorrhoids. Its leaves have various medicinal properties including anti-inflammatory and cooling effect. So here's how you can use aloe vera gel for hemorrhoids. First, extract the gel from the leaf and apply it to the affected area, letting it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. You can do this treatment at least 3 times per day. And here are some precautions while you are using the aloe vera gel. While aloe vera gel is generally safe for external use, it is a good practice to perform a patch test on a small area of your skin to ensure you don't have any adverse reactions. So you can apply some aloe vera gel on small portion of your skin to check for any adverse reactions. Avoid using aloe vera gel on open wounds or broken skin. Next in the list is coconut oil. Coconut oil is a natural remedy that some people used to alleviate the discomfort and irritation associated with hemorrhoids. Potential health benefits of coconut oil include anti-inflammatory and soothing properties. So here's how you can use coconut oil for hemorrhoids. First of all, choose a high quality, unrefined and 
प्योर कोकोनट ऑयल लुक फॉर प्रोडक्ट दैट आर लेबल्ड एज वर्जिन और एक्स्ट्रा वर्जिन कोकोनट ऑयल एज दीज आर लेस प्रोसेस एंड रिटेन मोर ऑफ द नेचुरल बेनिफिशियल कंपाउंड Now, before applying coconut oil, clean the affected anal area gently with mild, unscented soap and water, or with moistened wipes designed for sensitive skin. Pat the area dry with a clean, soft cloth. Now, take a small amount of coconut oil and warm it slightly between your fingertips. Coconut oil solidifies at lower temperatures, so warming it will make it easier to apply. Gently apply the coconut oil to the external hemorrhoid areas. You can also use a clean, lint-free cloth to apply it as a compress. Avoid rubbing or applying excessive pressure as this can exacerbate your irritation. It can increase your irritation. Allow the coconut oil to be absorbed into your skin, and there is no need to wipe it off. You can apply coconut oil several times a day as needed to help alleviate your symptoms. Also, let's see some precautions that you can use while using the coconut oil. First is coconut oil is generally considered safe for external use but it's a good practice to again perform a patch test on a small area of your skin as we have done with aloe vera gel just to ensure that you don't have any adverse reactions now if you experience any skin irritation or if your hemorrhoid symptoms persist or worsen consult a healthcare professional for further evaluation and guidance next in the list are loose cotton clothing swap your tight polyester clothes with breathable cotton especially cotton underwears to help keep the anal area both clean and dry this can potentially reduce symptoms and the risk of infection in open sores or raw damaged skin also avoid using perfume detergents or fabric softeners to help reduce the irritation next you can use cold compresses so you can apply cold compresses to external hemorrhoids to reduce swelling and discomfort the last on the list today is lifestyle changes you can maintain an active lifestyle avoid prolonged sitting and practice good hygiene in the anal area and there you have it friends a comprehensive guide to understanding and treating hemorrhoids at home remember prevention is the key so keep those fiber rich food on your plate stay active and don't hesitate to try these home remedies if you are dealing with piles if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family who might benefit from this information And of course don't forget to subscribe to Medinas for more health and wellness tips. Thanks for watching the video. Take care.